السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته معكم الأستاذ عمار العيد This is lesson is special for 202-203 This is mega goal 3 unit 3 lesson 11 page 44-45 Your teacher عمار العيد Today we will learn about Number 1 Future what we are going to Number 2 Information questions. Number three, positions of adjectives. Number four, present progressive. Number five, future with going to and well. Number six, time expressions for the future. First, we will talk about the future with being going to. We use be going to to talk about informal plans. Plans decided before the moment of speaking express prediction based on a present evidence, express something that is about to happen, or both will and be going to can be used for making prediction without having a real difference in meaning. Number one, affirmative. For example, I am going to travel to Jordan. To form the sentence, we use subject plus am or is or are plus going to plus verb in the infinitive. Number two, negative. For example, I am not going to travel to Jordan. And to form the sentence, we will use subject plus am, or is or are, plus not, plus going to, plus verb in the infinitive. Number three, yes, no questions. For example, are you going to travel to Jordan? And to form this type of question, we will use am, is, are, plus subject, plus going to, plus verb in the infinitive, and don't forget about the question mark. To answer, we use yes, I am, for affirmative answer, and for the negative answer, we will use no, I am not. The second part of our lesson today is information questions, which is any question start with what, where, when, how, which, whose, whom, why, and who. Let's have some examples here. The first example, what are you going to do on your vacation? The answer is, I'm going to travel to Africa. The second example is, when is he going to leave? The answer, he's going to leave next week. The third example, which countries is he going to visit? He's going to visit Tunisia and Morocco. How are we going to go? We're going to go by plane. Where am I going to stay? You're going to stay in a four-star hotel. Who is going to travel with them? They're going to travel 
with friends. How long are they going to stay? They are going to stay for a month. The third part of our lesson today is position of adjectives. If you have a sentence, where do you put the adjective? First, usually, when we have a noun, you can use the adjective before the noun. Let's see the example here. Antarctica is an exotic place. The adjective came before the noun. The second place, if you have a verb be, the adjective comes after the verb be. The example, Antarctica is exotic, it came after the verb be is. The fourth part of our lesson today, present progressive. We use the present progressive for actions happening now or for definite arrangement in the future. This form can be used for only two tenses. Number one, actions happening at the moment, we call it present continuous. For example, my friends are waiting for me at the airport. What are you doing now? The second tense, something in the future as a plan. For example, my friends are arriving tomorrow. The second example is, what are you doing tonight? The fifth part of our lesson, future with going to and well. We use be plus going to to talk about plans. We use well plus maybe or probably for uncertain or indefinite plans at the time of speaking. Examples. W check question example. What are you going to do in your vacation? For affirmative answer, I'm going to travel to Europe. For a negative answer, I'm not going to travel this year. So basically it's asking about plan the future. The final part in our lesson today is about time expressions for the future. Let's see the examples here. I am leaving tomorrow night. The second example, this year we will go on vacation to al -Ula, Saudi Arabia. The third example, they are flying to Oman on Thursday. Hurry, they will be here soon. I'm meeting her in an hour. Final example, we will sit examinations next month. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope that was very interesting lesson for you and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is your teacher, Ammar Al-Eid, and I wish you good luck.